All right, so long. First off, I want to give all praise to Yah by Shem Shah and double honors to the Apostles of Great Millstone. And shout out one to all the Aki and out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Um, I want to go in on this wicked ass queendom uh, known as America, uh, which is uh, Babylon the Great, according to the Bible. Um, it's uh, an article that I ran across. Um, I'm going to just read into it. It says, Jane Fonda told the Associated Press Wednesday that patriarchy, not terrorism, is the most burdensome issue facing the world today and asserted that Islamic militants are likely lashing out because activists like her have challenged their male power structure. So basically, like Jane Fonda, you know, like she's an Edomite, you know, and basically she's trying to be a, a, a woman rights activist and well the reason why i wanted to go in on this topic you know why it uh it spoke to me was because you know like during um slavery you know the the, the nigga woman you know they've been sellouts from uh before slavery you know around that time you know like they used to lay up with the masters you know the, the the slave masters and um in order to get uh, uh certain uh benefits and stuff like that uh then you know like fast forward it to when the women rights started uh happening in america you know so-called women rights you know uh the nigga women hopped right up on that bandwagon you know now these edomites you know like the so-called white man, you know, predominantly, they came over here to America, you know, and they brought their uh, democracy, you know, with them, you know. Our people didn't follow this uh, system that they had, you know. Now they bring in this uh, democracy into all these countries, you know, with the wine, you know, and, and, and they got our women you know following that philosophy you know now our look at the homes you know our our homes are destroyed you know and, and, and it, it was uh uh it's systematically you know the they they they, they took the, the 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 males out you know and and made them have less power you know like the so-called negroes blacks and uh the, the so-called so, so like, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, we're at the bottom of this uh this wicked ass queen, you know? Like and and, and the, we don't really have any uh say so, you know, in this household because why? You know, they give all the power to these women, you know? They allow the women to get uh child support. Uh, alimony you know if the father wanted to uh, not get an abortion the woman could go ahead and freely get an abortion you know like this this is the type of things that this society like it caters to the women you know and what while it's catering to the women you got the women raising up single moms you know so they call them they raise up uh, these men by themselves you know got all type of guys in, in the house you know like no no type of uh, uh male father figure around to to teach them the the, the, the ways how to be a man you know so i'm i, I want to go into uh, i'm gonna bring this scripture out isaiah 3 and 12 Isaiah 3 and 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. Okay, now, as I said earlier, the nigga woman, you know, now you got some, some decent women out here, you know, all these women out here aren't, aren't right, but, I mean, uh, what are the chances of you finding a decent woman, you know? But 
at the same time, right? Like, the reason why our people are so lost and confused, you know, of course, you know, it's the curses, you know, according to Deuteronomy chapter 28. But even on, on a deeper level, the reason why is because of these so-called white people, you know? Uh, they, they, they allow these women to basically run the, 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 the household, you know? And, and, and have rulership like like they teaching these these women like you don't need a man you know when that's not what life is about you know or, or you the want you the woman you know like and then you got their friends all up in there uh the the that they the, the nigga woman you know they, they they their life revolves around drama you know their friends would be in their uh their head like oh girl I went I wouldn't take that from my man like that that's that's totally not the way to go, you know? Like, I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna let the scripture speak, you know, because like this whole system is totally fucked up, you know, because of these so-called uh Edomites, you know, this is the system this the system isn't broke, you know, it was just built that way. Come on now, let me say this too, man. You're right, man. <clears throat> the system was set up, you know, to uh, you know, demoralize the so-called black man, Latino, Native American. You know, the so-called Jews, man, they don't even give a shit, man. You know, I mean, the so-called Jews, the white Jewish so-called rats, they they keep their women in order. You know, they got, they got their women in order, man. Their women wear the dresses, head coverings, because they know according to the law of the Bible, man, which they read the Talmud, but they know the only way to do it the right way is have an order. So by putting the woman over the man, man, you take away the order of things, <clears throat> according to the scriptures. Okay? So when you take the order of the, the you know the man out of the home, this is what you get, man. You get a bunch of wickedness. Cause women can't maintain a household, man. You know, they do the best they can, but they women are meant to be led, man. Women can't maintain a household like that. That's why they got these great jobs, great careers. Uh, and no money, man. They they spend their they they're not even good with money. And the ones that do, they got these careers and they don't even have a man. Once you take the man out of the household, you take the strength of the family away. And then you wonder why these niggas today are, are, are looking the way they are. They're walking around effeminate. They're walking around emotional. You know, they're cussing everybody out. You got two different emotional sides. Where they emotional, where they're soft or sweet. Or the emotional way they looking at you because your shoes look better than theirs. But I'm going to read the scripture. Uh, according to the scriptures, Proverbs 31 and 3. Give not thy strength unto woman, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. Right, man. Because women, man, you know, this society is giving strength unto the woman, man. You know? And because of that, you've destroyed the kings of their households, man. You know, the men. The men that are supposed to rule the households. Okay? That's just how it is, man. And that's why the so-called white man's got to pay, man. Because when you read Isaiah 29, 16, he says, surely you're turning things of upside down. It says, give not your strength unto women. You know, like, if you're the elect, you know, like, if you know the scriptures, uh, it, 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 it says that, uh, let, let any wickedness, you know, fall upon me except for the wickedness of a woman, you know? And like, basically this Jane Fonda woman, you know, she's trying to say that if women were in power, that there would be more peace, which is kind of crazy, you know, because like, women bring nothing but drama, you know, that's why a lot of these, I don't understand why a lot of these can't be having women in their uh, congregation, you know, when they bring nothing but drama, you know. You, you, you gonna have this one guy, you know, who, who wanna get at her, then this other guy who wanna get at her, you know? And, and, and now now what? Y'all lose focus on what's the goal, you know? Y'all lose, y'all 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 think that this woman is the goal, when reality, you know, salvation, you know? Trying to do what y'all about to send y'all side once from us. That's the goal. But, um, this, this, whole, this whole system is fucked up, you know? This woman rights uh, movement, like if you go, if, if the, the, the Edomites, it's not all Edomites, you know, because the, the higher ups, they got their women under control, you know, 
But even if you go to like the mid what, you know, like they got their 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 women at control too, you know. They got certain customs, you know. Their women aren't out there uh, wearing all type of uh, short dresses, you know, uh, for attention from men, you know. Out here slutting it up all 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 ways, you know. What's right about that? Y'all want woman rights, but y'all ain't y'all not doing the right shit. You know, like y'all y'all can go out here and go go fuck any type of nigga y'all want. You know, when according to the scriptures, you know if you those women, you know, especially if they got a man at home, you know, they need to be destroyed. You know, stoned to death. But what do America say? Oh, she can do that. You know, she can cheat on you, put you on child support, fuck your whole life up. I mean, that's why you. It's best not to even deal with these women in the first place, you know, because they all fucked up and wicked, you know. And one way or another, they're going to go off, you know. And, and, and that's for these uh, so-called uh, women who think that they're in the truth, right? That Like, I always see a lot of them um, claiming to be queens, you know. When, as far as the, the customs of Israel, the Israelites, being a queen wasn't our custom. You know, like, you can't show me in the scriptures where one, under our rulership, and I'm not talking about uh, Babylonian rulership, I'm not talking about the Egyptians, I'm not talking about uh, Esther, I'm talking about under our rulership, when was a woman ever a queen? That's not our custom, that's a, that's a, a heathen custom, you know, so women need to stop calling themselves queens. You know, I, the, the Israelite women, you know, thinking that they're going to be, they're equal to men. That that women, uh, women, women, women are basically possessions, you know, because if war was to happen, we're not going to send no woman out there to go to war, you know, but what do America do? They got their women out here, you know, fighting in battles and stuff like that, you know, women uh, want to be in a position of power, you know, uh, it, it, it's just crazy, but um, th this whole system is fucked up. Con, uh, that's right, man. This society is fucked up, man. You know, you got a society where if you know a woman is, is standing on the side with a flat tire, you know, a brother's supposed to come up and help her, man. Which that would be fine if the if it was reversed. If you if you is stranded on the side. There's no woman willing to come stop and pick you up and take you somewhere because Hollywood media has exposed men as being the bad guys, as being the, the, the threat, you know? You know, look when you look at everything the way it is, man, it's set up, uh, this whole society is set up to cater to the woman. You know, in a society that you have a certain amount of women to men, which women outnumber the men, that's how come you how about Shimmy Abishai set it up that way. Why the hell is a man down on his knees looking up to a woman relinquishing his power to his woman? If anything, a woman should be down on her knees to you or opening the door for you because you're her protector, right? So in this society, because it's so confused, you know, if you have, um, you know, if, if a man, this is why we know IUIC has went off because they say you only supposed to have one wife. Okay, so if that was the case, and women outnumber men 12 to 1, if every man was given to a woman, what would happen to the rest of the woman that was left? Were they supposed to be lesbians? Okay, that's just confusion, man. And you know women are jealous, and that's why they, you know, try to snatch and land a man, they steal, try to steal men, and do all kind of swindling, sneaky shit. These women are totally out of order, man. Well, we supposed to rule with the rod of iron, man. That's why we we sigh and cry for the abominations and the mists thereof. Okay, you know child support. You know if you living with your you, you living with a man. I mean if you living with a woman and she has a child in your house, you get kicked out of your house. Well, why, why can't she get kicked out and you stay there with your baby? That's the but that's why I'm getting ready to get a scripture now. That's why Yahweh Shimon Abishai going to bring this shit to an end. This Micah 7 and 6, 7 and 10. Then she that is my enemy shall see it. Right, because 
mainly the black woman is our enemy, man. So you brothers trying to land great relationships, or uh, brothers trying to, for the elect, you trying to land great relationships, forget about it. We're not trying to fix up families and set up relationships, man. We're trying to do the best we can to get out of here. Now, if you're in one and you got a family and your woman is treating you good, that's a different ball game. But to try to make make it here in America, man, this ain't this ain't our rest, man. Okay? I'm gonna read a scripture. Uh, Micah 2 and 10, since I'm in Micah. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. And that go for you so-called black woman, Latino Native American woman, that's getting that's in these food stamps programs, section eight. You know, you gotta understand who uh, who your, your lords are, man, you know? You stay out there in that bullshit, you're gonna get caught out there. Um, First Timothy 2 and I'm gonna start at uh, 12. It says, but I suffer not a woman to teach nor to assert authority over the man. Okay? Now, first off, right, it says I, I, I suffer a woman not to teach. Okay? Like Joyce Meyer, she's totally fucked off. It says, nor to assert authority over the man. You know, women are not supposed to be the, the head of the household. You know? Men have roles that they need to do according to the scriptures, you know? And women have roles that they need to do, you know? And and and, and, and when we was in, you know, our kingdom, and when we're gonna be in our kingdom, you know, our women are gonna be raised right. You know? They're gonna be humbled at that point in time. Cause these women, these nigga women out here ain't, ain't I'm humble. You know, and I'm not just talking about the the, the, the uh, Negro women, you know, I'm talking about all the Israelite women, you know? It says, uh, but to be in silence, you know, like I said, the, the scriptures say a silent and loving woman, you know, is a double grace to, a, to a, a righteous man, you know, it says, for Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in a transgression, okay, now, the thing is, right, if you got a man, uh, men are more um, able, you know, to, to, to make a firm decision, you know, according to, that's just in us, you know, you got women out here who think, like I said, the queens, goddesses, and believe in the zodiac, like that's really uh, heavy along, um, among the uh, nigga women, you know, like like the zodiac, you know, like they, they, they call themselves, uh, well, the, the, they don't follow the Chinese zodiac because they're uh, they aren't Chinese, but they'll follow the Roman zodiac. You're not Roman, you know. All that shit is bullshit, you know. And the scriptures speak on all that, you know. But these women are so lost and so fucked up. This is basically their heaven, you know. They can go ahead and go do whatever the hell they want, you know. But according to the scriptures, you know, I'm I'm making this video out here for the elect, you know. The, the 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 brothers, you know, don't don't put your strength into these women, you know, because they get you off this course, you know. They they so busy on, you know, and and, and trying to uh like like especially these uh, so-called Israelite women, you know. They 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 think that they can teach you, you know. Especially if you if you getting it the, the the milk from the elders, the apostles, a great millstone, they gonna think that hey I can teach you, you know. Or that's not what GOCC or that's not what my church taught taught me. Like, hey, don't it, like I said, it's best not to even deal with these women. You know, because these women are so um willing, you know, susceptible to being uh deceived. You know, and that's just in them. That's the way the Lord made it made it, you know. But um I wanted to go in um on this one also, this uh Ezekiel 31 and Thirty-four and thirty-one. 
Ezekiel 34 and 31. It says, And ye my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your power, said Yahweh. Okay, now, Yahweh by Shemiah was Now, the, 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 because you got a lot of these women who think that, hey, they're going to be rulers in the kingdom, you know, that's not going to happen, you know. These women are going to be put in order, you know, once that stuff, start, once shit start going down, you know, in America, once these uh, race riots and uh, martial law and all this stuff start going down, you know, these women are going to be for sport, you know, and, and and that's the same way with war anyway, you know, like these women, they're not going to, a lot of these independent or so-called independent women, they're going to be wanting or wishing that they had uh, righteous men to take care of them, to protect them, you know, because they're not going to know what to do. They're not going to know how to handle that, you know, and and, and, and brothers, you know, need to, to realize, like, you can't save these women, you know. Not, not I'm not talking about Captain Save a Ho, you know. You, of course, you're not supposed to be trying to save these hoes, you know. But, of, of course, you know, it's good to say that a harlot, you know, make it into the kingdom before a lot of these other, you know, wicked people. But at the same time, you can't be trying to save these women, you know. Because when Yahweh Shah come, don't be sitting up there worrying about, oh, my wife, my woman didn't make it. You, the Lord made these women, you know? And you can make them right over again if you wanted to, you know? But the Lord is a righteous man. He'll put them, the, the, the Israelite women in their right mind. But right now, they're not in their right mind. You know, and, and a lot of that has to do with these Edomite women. And these Edomites are going into slavery, and they're going to get paid double time for what the hell they done did to our people. And they got our people totally fucked up, doesn't show any mercy. They not even showing out no mercy to us, you know, at all. And they fucked it up for everybody. But I just want to say that, Shalom, and um, keep on pushing out.